everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and, well, let's play some Underrail. So, we are back, ready to go into Depot A, and give it some serious what for. It's a shame. Um, I should have taken the advice of Kay and others about it, but I did read that, um, actually, from Jean-Luc, that frag grenades are more damaging than um, high explosive grenades, which are better against armored targets. Uh, so against like human fleshy targets, I want to use frag grenades. So I might um, just slot those in after, our, but I'll just use the frag grenade mark too. All the grenades are on the same cooldown as far as I understand it. So it means that I can't just like chuck a bunch of grenades. I have to be somewhat sensible about it because I have to wait for the entire bar. But let's see how, just hypothetically, if we are in a world where we've got some, well, I hate to do this, but I can't just walk into the battle um, not being at full health. Let's see how this works in the world where, like, I don't have the new psionics ability equipped yet because I want, I have to, um, I have to innervate before I can equip electrokinesis because I don't want to lose all of my reserves. Um, but let's see if I can take some stuff out, use my reserves up, and then, you know, make it happen. with our new gear, new equipment, new everything. All right, that's not the way to do it. That's not the way to start this. I forgot about that. That's a bad beginning. All right, let's go up to the top then and get around this mine. All right, so they're all in here. So I think the best idea would be to just um, say, okay, there's this guy who looks like he, I don't know what he's got in his hand, but what I can do is immediately just um, I think we'll put the, the Frighten well, how much is this going to take? This is going to take 10 action points. How many do I have? 25. How much does a grenade take? 15, so I can do both. So I can chuck a grenade and frighten this person. And so I'll do that. All right, so they're frightened. And then we're just going to go ahead and lob in this... Um, frag grenade, like right here. Of course, it somehow hits me. Um, all right, now i got to load it. I don't want to frighten the person that I'm going to kill. But I also don't want to hit myself with my own grenade. I think, I can't remember if it was John luc who was telling me that most people just get a little bit of points in grenade and then just reload. You know that that's their common strategy. Um, here's what I'm going to do. This is a good situation. So I'll frighten this person. And then we can go ahead and frag grenade like right here and hit um you know the the other people again i cannot get out of my own way and not hit myself i have an idea i have an idea um it is really just absolutely lame like it, again i'm just a regular person I'm not calling myself an expert, but if I know one thing about grenades, it's you want to throw it far enough away from yourself so that you don't hit yourself with your own grenade. That seems like just basic grenade 101, um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead. <laughs> I think my problem is the sequencing. What I'll do is I'll throw the grenade first. 
and see where it goes. See how the impact does. All right, so this time it actually didn't even kill anybody. Um, it didn't hit me, which is good, but that's not a desirable outcome. So I hate to be real cheesy on this, but um, I'm looking to just have a grenade like one time do something that I want it to do. I put 20 into throwing, which I know isn't a lot, but I don't know. It, it seems like a, a more reasonable amount to make it so you don't... The, sometimes you get a desirable effect, like more often than not, but I'm... Anyway, uh, with your grenades, but we'll find out. So let's go stealth and try this again. Okay, I want to see everybody. All right, now we're going to go with the grenade and we're going to put it here, like right on this square. Okay, so again, a horrible miss, but we've now killed this one and the dog, and now we have two left. So this is way better. So we'll just um, terrify this person. And then what do we have left? We've got... 25 action points. That's a lot, actually. Um, let me just give this... Yeah, there we go. Okay, and I'll step back. Alright, so what's going to happen? The, the other enemies are coming in, which is going to make this really, really challenging. Um, so I need to kill this enemy as fast as I possibly can. So I'm going to telekinetic punch right here. We got the stun, which is what I was looking for. I need to then use the Psy Booster. And we're going to just... I'm, I'm going to try to nuke this person down like as fast as possible. And then I'm going to move into the room. So that I can maybe close these doors at some point. What do I have left? I have no action points. I have movement points. Okay. Um, where's the, the person that I scared? They must be back here somewhere. I'm going to close the door. And then I'm going to move over. Try to find this person who I terrified. There they are. Alright. How many turns you got left on that? Um, two turns. Alright. So, let's go ahead and just wait. Now, they keep hiding behind these boxes and things. That's quite frustrating. I mean, I can't see over this pile. Goodness gracious. All right. Okay. So, then let's just start putting the hurt down. One. Two. Okay. Boy, this wounded, muted person, this afraid person, has done such a good job of running out of my line of fire. Like, I know they weren't doing it intentionally. Well, it, maybe they were. Anyway, we're going to put him down. Okay. Um, and we're going to move over here. Oh, man, that's what I was not wanting to have happen. Look at this person. You opened the door. Oh, the combat ended. I get it. And then they came in. Oh, boy. Um, okay. Well, that's altogether bad. How many turns left on this? Uh, too many. Um, I'm going to go back here and try to, like, hide. And then I'm going to go into my inventory. And we're going to use a Psy Booster. Um... Oh, we can't use that in combat. That's right. I'm just going to wait. Okay, so they found me, but it took all their movement to get here. See, I'm using the reverse crate strategy. This is what that afraid mutie did to me, was hide behind these. And it worked like a dream because they, this mutie couldn't hit me because they couldn't see me, so they had to run and use everything to just get right in front of me. Um, and now I can do some amazing stuff. 
I want a telekinetic punch. Um, but it uses up so much psi. But if I can stun them, it's it's pretty much game over. Um, yeah, there we go. And then we just neural... Or, uh, I'm sorry, cryokinesis. Oh, look at that crit. They're almost dead. What do I have left action point wise? 10. Um, and it takes 18 to throw a knife. Okay, we'll just wait. And they got their second win, but we should be able to just win like this. There we go. Alright. Please say that I can get out of combat. I can. Well, I think I did it. I think that, that did it. It wasn't pretty. I had to load a lot for the grenade to hit. Um, but some of those loads were just really more me uh, realizing that I had screwed up. Um the sequencing and should have just thrown the grenade see where it landed and then done my crowd control on the remaining target or at least the, the most optimal target for what has happened with the grenade explosion so that was my fault but we won and I think at this point my reserves are low enough to where I am satisfied um switching up my uh, basically innervating my psi abilities oh there's a dog here okay I kind of thought I was hoping I was all done um, that like only one scout came out to investigate but that's fine um, so we'll just go ahead and pre-med and telekinetic punch this dog and then just cryo it into oblivion. And then I'll move back here and end combat. I hope that's it. I'm just gonna wait until the, the combat indicator cycles down. I will save it again. Um, all right, so now I can enter combat again if I wanted. I will go stealth and I'll be a little bit more savvy. So there's some intestine. And let's see what else we got here. Oh, okay. Acid burnt femur. This human femur has been damaged by corrosive acid. Delightful. Meaning that the mutant it belonged to suffered greatly from its mutations. Ah, oh, man. That's terrible. Now I feel bad for these mutants. So I'm, I can almost take some solace in the fact that I put it down given that it was suffering from like internal acid burning on its bones from the mutation we'll take the gun uh for sure we'll take the femur of course ampules is just like a complete jackpot um we'll take the ammo and we'll leave the knife all right and we'll move over here let's look in this locker outer south gate key this key should open the outer south gate in the old junkyard cool that's actually a really good item to get. Oh, oddities for days. Look at this. Some more scrapture. And then old train schedule. Partially burned train schedule of lower under rail metro system. Wow, that's my first time getting one of these. And here's some high density foam padding, which is great for crafting. Which, you know, one of my next pushes with this character is to start being able to craft my own equipment. Uh, at you know, headbands first, side headbands, and then moving into other stuff. Ooh, wow. Shock serrated steel knife. I mean, it sells well. Anyway, we'll take it all. Sure. Let's go ahead and look at this one. And they have a huge sledgehammer, which we're not going to carry. Foam padding is always great. Oh, we got another femur. We're getting... We're only four pips away from... Um, leveling up, which is terrific. Oh, oh, utility belt. Nice. Uh... Rubber balls and electronic scraps. Just take all of that. 
Let's look in this locker. Lock picking 50. Well, you've come to the right place because I'm very good with locks. Oh, we got some boots. Well, these would replace my other boots, the solid padding rat hound leather boots. Um, but honestly, um, the shoes that I have now, these ninja tabby boots, are just ridiculous. So we're going to keep with those. All right. Um, anything else we need to check here? No, not really. But there's these shelves out here. I'm going to save it, though, because I don't want to walk into a mine and have to do this again. No. No. Boy, these shelves were a disappointment. But the good thing, too, is that now when we go to this other room which is up here, will be in a place where there's one less enemy. All right, fantastic. So let's go in here, close the door, and um, let me just innervate right away. So we're going to take out Neural Overload and put in Electrokinesis. Now, Force Field does sound really interesting, I don't quite know how it works in the sense that, um, oh wait, no, I, I selected the wrong ability. I want Frighten. I don't want, Neural Overload is the one that I don't want. I need Intelligence 8 to get to this other Psionic Circuit. I'm happy with all of these abilities that I have right now, honestly. Like maybe someday I take out one of them, but for now, they're really useful. Alright, so I innervated, and now what that means is uh, when I go to my invoker, I can put electrokinesis on the board instead of that, and then we're going to go ahead and use a psionic inhalant and get everything back and now it's time to save the game and attempt the other place i think if i had like bear traps and stuff i could even do a better job of just setting a, a death field for enemies to run into um but wow look at that my shoes helped me dodge that but that's just not where i'm at now there's a lot of dogs to fight here but Honestly, that's fine. Like, you know, we'll just end combat and wait. We took a little bit of damage, but now that's one less dog that we have to deal with. I should be in stealth, though. That's a kind of a good reminder that I was just running around foolishly. All right, let's see how this goes now. Let's see how many people are in this room still alive. There are the remains of that dog that I want to check, too. All right, so now it's just these two. Is that it? Wow. Well, um, let's check out Electrokinesis then, I guess. It deals 15 to 9, um, and then it jumps to the next target. But it only stuns the first target. But it's still ridiculous. Like, so what? I can stun both of these fools? Um, so what I want to do then is, how many action points do I have? 50. Um, and so this takes 30, so I can't rightly, I could telekinetic punch and electrokinesis if I premeditate, um, and that's really attractive. I could also 17, meh. Yeah, I can also premeditate pyrokinesis and then drop in the electrokinesis. Let's see how that goes. All right, so we we absolutely ravage them with that, and then we'll just go ahead and uh, do this. 
Oh my god. It chained between the two targets. It said that in the description, but I didn't quite understand how the interaction would work. Um, and so it can jump up to four times. But it has to have at least two targets to jump between. So yeah, so it hit them both. It was like playing pinball. And uh, we are going to win very easily now. So let me just... This guy back here is a melee fighter. So let me just move back into this corner um, to get away from him and just end the turn. I don't think he can reach me. He couldn't. Um, and we'll just cryokinesis him into the ground. And then... We can even maybe kill this one here. Oh, so close. We're going to get shot. Oh, no, they have a knife. Never mind. So cryokinesis slowed them down. They couldn't hit us. It's over. Okay. Well, that was decidedly easier than it was the last time. Now that we've thinned out the dogs and the, the third character, it was, it was no problem. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, we got another acid burnt femur. Um, we'll just take that. Three away. Three away. From level up bliss. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's a mine. This is also something. Maybe I should start crafting. Like, I can make bear traps, but I could also craft mines. Now, of course, mines you have to be careful with because you don't want them to explode them on you. Uh, but, you know. All right, we got some uh, Stygian coins. Interesting, the blueprint for combat knife and the security key card for the old junkyard. So we automatically gain level two security access on um, security terminals in the old junkyard. Man, we are getting so many keys to the old junkyard. This is fantastic. What is this? Cardboard container. <laughs> Who doesn't need a big cardboard box? Let's just carry that around, shall we? Um, wow. Wow. Look at this gun. Holy smokes. Unload all the ammo from the weapon. Now, with this gun, does that mean that you will fire all the shots of it? And, or does that mean, like, you can just easily change ammo types out or something? Either way, that's, that's a heck of a... A gun that I can shoot people with. Ooh, yes. The painted welding helmet. Two away from level up dreamland. Um, oh, there's a locker. I actually didn't check. Lock picking 50. Well, I'm good at that. I'm good with a lock. Oh, chew toy. Oh, no. I already got this one. It gives two points of experience, but I already got one. That's too bad. That would have leveled me up. But, say la vie. Oh, there's the dog collar. Oh my gosh, we're one away. Yes. That's tremendous. All right. So, honestly, I think that then that this entire section... Um, we have cleared out of enemies. Now, there are still explosive mines, which are terrifying. So I'm going to save it so I don't get blown up. But I'm going to run over here and check out this room and see what I can do at this security terminal with the key card. See if there's anything I, I can access. Okay. Um, access level two. Hack. Um, aw. You have to have access level three. I, I like how access level 2, they're like, this card will give you access level 2. Great! So I, I get beyond access level 1, and now I'm on level 2. What do I get? Oh, it doesn't do anything. Oh. Oh. At least at this terminal, it does nothing. We tried, though, right? Okay. Um. Oh. Alright, well. I'm not completely done. I can't turn off those turrets anyway. That's fine. Uh, let me save it and set ourselves up to go into the next area. No, that's not, not, not what I meant. Not quite what I meant. I didn't know if the auto-pathing would avoid that. I mean, why would it? But 
was just hoping, like. Alright. Uh, we'll go up. Okay. Good. Mine. We found a mine. Uh, I can always just jump in the ventilation shaft, I guess. Where does this one go? How far can I get? Oh, I can even get it here. Oh, no, I can't get to there, but... I can get... Um, let me look where this leads us. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I gotta use my lockpick. Alright. Did I... I bought, like, regular lockpicks, right? Yeah, I have just bunk lockpicks. I'm gonna switch to these and save my really, really good lockpicks for a bit in case I come across... Oh, no, I can't even open it unless I'm using my fantastic lockpick. Gosh, that's a crime. Alright. Well, let's learn how to make a combat knife, by the way. Sort my inventory, and then we will un unlock this door for posterity. And I'll go buy better lockpicks at some point. Uh, shelves? Did I check these? Eh. I, did, I just didn't look at that for some reason. Great. Alright. Now, can this turret hit us from there? Does it only point one way or does it pivot? It doesn't look like it's gonna pivot. Oh no, it's going to. Oh no. Oh my god. Run. All right, we're gonna have to uh, ventilation shaft this. Let's see. Let's open this up. Is this the one? No, this one doesn't even take me. I need um, this one down here to be able to get to the other side easily. So let's find that. Is it this one? I can't remember which one it is. Yeah. So this one will take us through without having a key. I mean, I can't believe I still can't open those double doors. Like I've killed everybody there. I've got all the key cards. That's a shame. Um, wow. I still haven't even fully explored this place. That's unreal. Well, there's a lot to do here, and we will get into that in the next episode, everyone. We are one pip away, experience-wise, from the next level. We cleared out everything on that first kind of part of depot a and so i'm feeling really really good about our progress we got electrokinesis online everything is is working well so far knock on wood i hope you have an excellent evening or day thanks for watching i'll check you guys in the next episode take care